What's up bosses? This is Funko Boss playing Animal Crossing's New Horizons and today we're gonna disprove or prove the rumor circulating online if clapping or making Orville blush brings you to a mystery island that is rare. And afterwards we're gonna talk about the fishing tourney as well, how to get what items you can get and what are the tips in order for you to get a higher score or 300 points faster. So let's go. Okay, so it did not actually bring me to a rare island, but this is to show you guys that the scorpion trick or the exploit still works, especially for the southern hemispheres. You just have to get to an island, any island actually, and I know a lot of you guys have been um, bugged by all this, bug is the word, by all the crickets. So you, have, you just have to make sure that your luck brings you to a raining island. So as you can see here, I, I quickly had two spawns of scorpions and I was able to capture them as well. But the, the thing is, uh, it actually, for April, it, it's actually easier because the dung beetles, they don't spawn anymore. So it's a sure thing that once, if you get an island that's raining, quickly chop off everything, remove all the trees, pull out all the the weeds smash all the rocks and you have a hundred percent that these scorpions will spawn um for for islands that have of course you have to set up your your usual trap for islands that have multi levels make sure that you fill the second or the third level with with holes or items so so all the spawns will just go on the lower level so what you have to do for or everything was what I specifically did on the first video. I guess I did not explain it fully because it was also my first time doing it. But after doing it multiple times, to have a hundred percent assurance that you get a tarantula, a, a tarantula, or I mean a scorpion island for the southern hemisphere, you have you just have to make sure that it's, it's an island that's raining, and then you can turn in that island into an island that just spawns scorpions. So of course you still get those wharf roaches but you just quickly scare them away and then but other than that it should be an easy thing. It's a hundred percent that it still works. It's April 11 the time that I'm recording this so definitely I have proven that it works. It still works so again if you want to capture all this scorpions make some money and what what you need to do is you just have to store all these scorpions in your storage at home or outside however you want to store it and just wait for, for like uh, the lizard NPC I think he's a lizard uh, to just visit your your island so you can sell it for more money so there you go it's, it's pretty much straightforward what what i did i just again remove all the trees cut off all the trees remove all the weeds remove all the flowers just to make sure that no other bugs spawn because you know some bugs spawn on on the on flowers that are in full bloom and some bugs spawn on rocks so you just have to make sure that all of that is removed including the trees and once you have done these things um the scorpions they will spawn infinitely like hundred percent guaranteed and if this works please comment down below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you've been watching a lot of these videos I mean why not it doesn't really make any sense that you're not subscribing yet so if you do enjoy these videos please hit, hit that like button and subscribe as well and you know leave a comment as well if you think that it worked for you if you still feel that the crickets are still there I have no solution yet as of now how to remove those I know some of the crickets like the bell cricket is so hard to scare and I guess that's what frustrates most of you guys it still does work even if there are crickets it just takes like around 50 to 20 minutes per spawn but for an island that rains it removes all the crickets instantly so definitely a hundred percent these scorpions will appear every 20 seconds or even 10 seconds depends on how big the island is so that's pretty much it for everyone that keeps asking why are there so much crickets does it still work yes it, do, it does still work but you just see you can see that it still works on on when you saw my 
I, I, I'm sorry, I recorded this on April 10. So what I meant was, I recorded, this is the day before the fishing tournament. So there, it pretty much still works and that's how you get um, all these scorpions and that you can sell for, well, a lot of, a lot of bells for flick or if you want to sell it to Tommy, why not? That's also okay. So that's pretty much it. Um, we're gonna start the fishing tourney the next day. So it's 1.41 a.m. I have collected almost all. I just need one more. That's it. So it's the next day. You pretty much wake up uh, waiting for Isabel's announcement. And yes, she will be announcing that today's the day that CJ is on the island and there's a fishing tournament. I'm going to talk about what are the tips on and what items you can get during this day. So it's pretty much uh, what you just do in a normal fishing game. Uh, I mean, it's not really who catches the biggest fish, but this is more of a point system for how many fishes you catch. And all I can say, it's a very grindy event. Uh, as early as now, I'm going to tell you that please, if you have friends who are online, do it with them. The points actually are combined. So do it with friends. It starts at 9 a.m. So the thing is, he will give you... How, how do you play the game? So he gives you three minutes to fish as many fish as you can. One fish is equivalent to one point no matter how big it is. And if you catch three straight, it gives you an additional two points. So all of these points you can exchange for... I, every ch 10 points, you can exchange it for one exclusive fishing tournament item. And that's pretty much how the rules are. For, and then for every 100 points, you get sent a trophy the following day. So there are three trophies, which of course the bronze, silver, and the gold. So if you get 100 points, you get the bronze, 200 for silver, and 300 for the gold points. And let me tell you, these uh, are not easy. For one point of fish and two additional if you get three straight, it's actually very grindy. And another, what I can give you as tips is, um, if you started farming all those manila clams and you made a lot of fish bait, I think this would be the perfect time to actually use it. So for the fishing tourney, what 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 he's going to do is he basically gives you points and then he gives you a lot of money as well. So this actually is a pretty good event for you to earn some bells as well. So I actually earned around half a million bells from doing this because I did not know that you could actually you could actually bring along your friends and all of you all of your points together will be combined. So if you have like eight friends on an island and each person catches five, then that's already 40 points, which just means that if you want to reach 300, you just need around eight or even nine rounds, right? And that's three minutes. Another pro tip I can give you guys is the moment that you wake up, start crafting as many rods as you can so you don't have to keep going back and forth. Because actually when you fish, it doesn't fill up your inventory because the fish goes directly straight to the cooler and then you can sell it directly there as well. You don't even have to bring it to Tommy or Tom to, to Nook's Cranny. You can sell it to CJ at once. So make as many flimsy rods or, or rods that you can make. And again, like I said, if you have fish bait, um, this is the time to use all that. You actually also get um, some some nook miles out of these tournaments because definitely you'll be fishing a lot you'll be crafting bait you'll be crafting a lot of diy and there are also nook miles for joining the tourney in itself so what i first tried was i went to a small pond and i tried casting there even with bait it, it, it was quite difficult because the fish is there they don't drop they don't i was gonna say drive they don't swim towards the current so they basically swim randomly but uh, and, and putting this debate as well was quite difficult compared to 
putting it out on the sea so I kept I, I did this for like 20 20 baits and the points I got wasn't so bad but for example you did this alone which I did which I did not know that again you sh if you if you haven't started the tournament yet please do it with with some friends it's a whole lot faster process and then and I guess it'll be more fun because I felt that it was so grindy there was a negative comment I had for this event because I hope they just extended the minutes to like 10 minutes because I mean and we're just gonna be doing the same thing over and over again anyway so why not just extend it to five minutes and maybe fix the point system a little bit but I don't know maybe this tournament has been going on since New Leaf so I'm not sure how it worked during that time but it was it was so difficult to reach 300 points I'm sure a lot of the people a lot of the people that did this alone as well would say the same thing uh, there's no and the tournament goes on from 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. but he's gonna be in the in the residence area until 8 p.m. so you can actually still sell fish to him uh, even not through the tournament so that's that's another advantage if you if you've stored up a lot of your rare fishes from previous days you can basically now um, sell it to him so you, so you get a lot of fishing tournament items the first one I got was the cooler the next one I got was was the the rod I think there are thir 13 different fishing items correct me if I'm wrong and then you just get um, you just get duplicates for every 10 points that you 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 exchange but what what makes it nice is these things actually you can customize them so like for the fish print you can actually customize it to have a different picture so what I did next was I stayed near the airport near the pier and that's where I tried doing the bait system so I threw bait in and then you just have to cast instantly because the, the, the fish is already directly in front of you. This is actually the fastest method that I, that I tried all throughout the day. And I was able to reach around 8 or 9 points per round. Or and I'm sorry, 8 or 9 fish per round. I even reached 10 one time so that's equivalent to 12 points at once. But again, this is the grinding method and if you don't have a nintendo switch online because i guess that means that you can invite friends over to to help you unless it works with um the local play as well the rip if you have like two players then maybe that works as well but but that's very limited since you, you basically guys share a screen so i was able i tried it i tried this method over and over again i think i spent around three to four hours just finishing this tournament and I almost did not make it because I had to do some work in the afternoon so but again uh, it's a good thing that we have all these events I mean tomorrow is bunny day uh, and tomorrow is also when Daisy May is selling turnips again so that so for you guys to I want to start you know investing in in the stock market that's that's the time um, I'll be doing another video regarding what's the best price you can get for these turnips and what are the tips that you can get a lot more money um, and that's pretty much it this is how you you join these tournaments I think there's I'm sure not I think I'm sure there's a fishing tournament for every season so I'm in the southern hemisphere. It's the fall tournament, fall fishing tournament for me, and it's the spring for those who are, who are in the north. Uh, but we do get the same things pretty much, um, and that's pretty much it. I, I think that's mostly what the bulk of this tournament is a guide. So I got 300 points, and he's just gonna say you're a legend, and then he's gonna be sending some stuff tomorrow. I think these are the trophies. I'll show you at those on a different video. Probably the video with the finale of Bunny Day. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm just gonna be showing you what you can get. Um, there are of course umbrellas, um, bags. I got a lot of bags and umbrellas. I wanted more of the drying, the fish drying rack, but 
I only got one of those. So if you want to trade for some of these items, please feel free. So you get the anchor, you get some rugs, you get some wallpaper, some flooring. You get a pretty decent amount of good stuff. I, I like how they look compared to the bunny day items because I felt the bunny day items needed some male clothing as well. Uh, cause it, it made me focus on, on the dresses and you know all that. But still cool event. I love how we have all these events. So, and another thing I can tip you guys is the points they carry over to the next tournament. So if you don't use them all at once, that's fine. And that's it for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. And I leave you with three things. The first one is the Orville making him blush doesn't work. Number two, the Tarantula Scorpion method still works. Number three, it's very, the fishing tournament is grindy. So that's it. Funko Boss out.